Hi guys, I hope you're doing well. Um, I just wanted to share just some exciting things that we have had happened um, lately and just some joys in life. And um, I feel like sometimes, you know, videos can get so serious and we talk about this and that and whatever. I mean, it, it's just hard um, to always talk about hard stuff. And so you just need some light hearted things. And at the end of this video, I'm going to share a short clip of um, Thomas taking my um, birthday flowers and helping um, his babysitter put them in a vase. I thought it was so sweet. He was super, super excited. I, I um, got two bouquets yesterday and each time I brought them home because you know, you get a bouquet and I was like, oh, I want it to last. So I wanted to get it in water as soon as I could. Um, so I brought it home. He was just so excited. He was like, flowers. And both times he was excited. And he was excited to smell them and to touch them and, you know, to help divide them up and put them in the vase. And I just, I thought it was so simple and so sweet. You know, I feel like sometimes like life gets so serious or we're so stressed or different things or just happening in life that you're just like gotta be serious gotta get through this day and just all the stresses and things and it's just amazing how a little kid you know ours is three can make you look at things and be like wow there is joy in that you know it doesn't it doesn't have to be um this complex, uh, like going and doing all the time. Um, my mom sent me a message, you know, saying happy birthday yesterday. And she was thinking back about all the memories and things that we did. And sometimes we went on extravagant trips. And then sometimes we just had simple parties at home. I remember one time when we had this tea party. Now my mom probably thought it was a lot of work though. Cause she like cooked and baked. Um, and we dressed up in older clothes. We looked like, kind of like grandmas and we had like beads and anyways, and, and big hats. It was just, it was fun. Um, and so it's just a reminder that, yeah, my birthday yesterday was kind of simple. No, we didn't do anything that was super big, but I got to spend the day with my family. I got to spend the day with my loved ones, you know, and that's, that's special and um and did us see Thomas's excitement about french fries he absolutely loves french fries and we're going into the mall and there's these um like advertisements or signs above us and it was like french fry french fry french fry and each time french fry french fry french fry and yeah that's not the best diet but he's excited about simple things in life like there's going to come a point probably when he's not gonna be excited about simple things any longer anymore and so um just to see that excitement and just to see that joy he was excited like yesterday um we're in the process of fostering there, there's a chance that we could get a child soonish. And so we want to make sure that we're prepared. And so we went and bought a few items and brought those home and got them set up. And Thomas like wanted to sit in one and wanted to check them out and was just excited about what we got. It wasn't, well, what'd you get me? You know, what am I getting out of this? Like, as kids get older, a lot of times that can be their attitude. He was just excited to see, oh, there's something new. Um, he was excited to, one was a car seat, one was a high chair. He sat in the high chair for um, his breakfast this morning. I'll put that video or that picture in here too. And so, yeah, it was just, it was neat. He. He was excited about simple things and I just, I feel like as an adult, um, we forget those things. And so 
yeah, it's just a great reminder to be, be thankful about the simple things and um, to have joy in the little stuff. And so that, that was exciting. And um, I, had, I had another teacher give me a cake. And so that was a blessing. Uh, we were originally going to go out and get donuts, but buying items for the foster child, um, like just to have, just in case we got a foster child, we, we needed to save the money. And so I said, you know what, we've already got this cake, we have this other stuff in the fridge, there's not really that much room anyways, we'll wait on the donuts. And so, but yeah, just, it was amazing to see how people answered prayers yesterday with, without even really knowing that they were answering prayers, you know, and, um, and just, they were simple, simple things that just brought us joy. But at the end of the day, there was this really big, amazing thing that happened. So if you're new to watching these videos, following this channel, um, we're missionaries. We live overseas in Davao City, Philippines, and we're, we teach missionary kids. As missionaries, we rely on God's people to partner with us in the ministry that we're doing. And what that means is they become financial partners. So somebody might give $10 a month, or somebody might give three hundred dollars a year or you know just whatever they feel led to give and so some months we're up here really high and then we're down and we're up and then we're down it fluctuates and so it's not it's not that normal paycheck um that you guys might be used to and so there there's some times that can become stressful you know i I look at the numbers on a regular basis. I don't know if that's healthy or unhealthy. And um, there's just times when it was low. And before yesterday, it was kind of low. And it's like, okay, Lord, you know, what's what's this next month gonna look like? Because whatever comes in this month, we get next month. And so, um, and you know, that's being close to Christmas time and the possibility of welcoming another child into our home and things. You just you wanted a little extra money and money to do things with and so we, I was very we've been very fortunate that the Lord has just provided in his timing not my timing not Dan's timing it's totally been his timing and I can say this um, with beyond a shadow of a doubt we we ha usually, if a big gift comes in once a year, it's $2,000 max um, for that one-time gift. And so that's just what we're used to. Um, but there was a person, a one of our partners, that gave a one-time gift that was bigger than that. And that just, it set us up so that for this next month, we we're in the black and um we're in the black and we'll have some savings and be able to you know pay off the credit card um, put put money towards uh dan's college loan put money um in the bank take care of another payment we have and just to take care of things and I'm not saying, you know, to go out and do all this elaborate spending because that's not what we're going to do. But just the joy that comes when you're just able to take care of your family and you're, be able, you're able to provide. At the end of the school year, or at the end of the school year, and even before Christmas break, times can be, become stressful for teachers. And so... To not have to look or worry so much about the money aspect of things makes this time of year that much better and that that much more enjoyable that much less stressful and so yeah we've just we've had all these wonderful little 
little joys and um, that have been such a blessing. So I want to end with you getting to see the clip of Thomas's joy and putting the flowers together and um, a couple of pictures of Thomas because everybody knows. He's the cute one in the family. He's he's the one that everybody's excited to see and, and to love on and everything. So I hope you have a wonderful day. I hope you find joy in the small things, big blessings, little blessings, um, many blessings. God bless. You like flowers? <laughs> Thomas is helping arrange mommy's birthday flowers. I got two. Flowers. I have these. Flowers. And these. No. Oh, and Thomas has a running nose. <gasps> You're such so cute.